Let me say this up front. AI is coming to healthcare whether you're ready or not. And I talk with medical practice owners every single week. And so many of them are just frustrated and angry about AI and what it's doing or what it could do potentially to their practice. And I'm here to tell you, you can be angry about AI or you can use it. Some are saying that AI is the future of medicine. Others are saying it's a threat to patient safety. But to be honest, it's both. And if you run a private medical practice, you need to stop asking if AI will affect you and start asking how. Because what's happening right now in hospitals, research labs, global health systems, it's already trickling down to clinics and practices just like yours. My name is Don Markland. I'm the CEO of Accountability Now. And we work with private medical practices every single day on growing the practice, scaling the practice, putting in AI, putting in automations, and giving them profitability back. And we deal with this problem every day. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about how AI is being used in healthcare right now, the risks that providers aren't prepared for, and what a private practice like yours needs to learn and act on before you get left behind. So let's jump in. First, AI is already here and it's growing fast. I don't know if you realize it, but AI is growing faster than any technology in human history. We're not talking about some far off back to the future, fly in your DeLorean future. We're talking about right now. AI is already being used for diagnostics, treatment recommendations, radiology reads, and even mental health support. At the global level, we're seeing AI assist in everything from predicting disease outbreaks to tracking surgical success rates. And it's not just big tech or big pharma. Healthcare companies, governments, startups, they're all investing in AI to save time, cut costs, and most importantly, reach more people. So let me ask you this. What happens when your patients expect your practice to be just as smart, just as fast, and just as responsive, but you're not. That expectation is coming. I promise. What AI can do for you for real. Let's get rid of all the gimmicks or all the Star Trek hoopla. Let's talk about the upside of AI. AI can today scan thousands of medical records in seconds. It can identify patterns a human might miss. It can send reminders, personal messages, even help with language barriers. It can be an incredibly powerful support system. Imagine a patient gets a follow-up message, not just based on time, but based on their actual risk profile from recent data. That's not science fiction. That's here today, right now. When you use it well, AI helps doctors and practitioners make smarter decisions faster. When it's used well, it helps patients feel seen feel supported without adding more work to your plate. But like with everything, there's probably a little bit of a catch and a downside. Here's the risk no one likes to talk about. In some recent studies, it's talked about the trend of misdiagnosis. One of the biggest concerns in AI medicine is getting it wrong. Because AI isn't magic, it's math. It learns based on data. And if that data is flawed, so are the results. There are real world cases where AI has overlooked cancer, misread scans, or pushed incorrect treatment suggestions, just like humans have, to be fair. And remember, AI is very, very smart, but it is not wise. It's fast, but it is not accountable. And this is where you will always come in. Because in any private practice, your patients are just numbers. They matter to you. They're people. They have nuances, they have context, they have stories, they have lives, and they don't always fit into some algorithm, which means your job is to not let AI replace you. Your job is to let AI support you. You lead it. You use it as a tool, not as a crutch. And yes, I punned that on purpose to apply to medical practice owners. So what should you do as a private medical practice owner? Let's get very specific. Number one, start small, but start no matter what. Don't try to build an AI robot in your office. 
Start by using AI for administrative tasks, appointment reminders, transcriptions, data sorting, those types of things. These are low risk, high reward areas that free up your team's time and helps you get used to AI and what it can do for you and your patients. Number two, stay in the loop. AI in healthcare is evolving fast. Almost every three months is brand new. You don't need to be a tech expert, but you do need to understand what tools are available and what the legal risks are. So read, watch, ask questions, pay attention, just like you are always keeping up to date with your continuing education and for your practice license. I want you to do the same thing with AI for your practice. Number three, use AI to support, not diagnose. Let AI gather information, let it flag concerns, let it guide you, but make final decisions, not yet. Always go through human eyes, human experience, human wisdom. That's where the trust is. That's where the care is. And number four, tell your patients what you're doing. One of the biggest frustrations for people is when they find out you're using AI and they didn't know. If you're using an AI answering service, tell them up front. If you're using an AI chatbot to help guide them through their patient intake form, tell them up front. Don't try to hide it. Don't try to pretend that it's a human being and try to fake it. Tell them the truth. Most people don't want to be treated like a robot and neither do you. And they will trust you more if they know you're using tools to help them, but you're using them in a safe, honest, and right way. And when patients trust you, they stay with you. AI isn't here to take your job. It's here to test how serious you are about adapting. If you ignore it, you risk falling behind. If you misuse it, you risk losing trust. If you use it wisely, you will build a practice that's fast, focused, and future ready. That's where healthcare is going. That's where small business owners are already heading. And if you want to take that leap, jump in and put automation into your practice because the future of care is not just personal, it's predictable, scalable, and smart. So now let's go build it right.